Hey, folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carl, and we're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's talk Impact Wrestling. There's a few things about Impact Wrestling I want to discuss. Uh, let's get started. Hard to Kill. As we know, Hard to Kill, uh, we have uh, the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X, Ultimate X uh, match um, coming up. And the participants have been named for this match. It's going to be Lady Frost, Jordan Grace, Ray Rachel Ellering, Rosemary, Tasha Steeles, and Chelsea Green all participating in the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match. And the winner of this match will, of course, get a future shot at the Impact Wrestling Knockouts World Championship. Uh, should be a very exciting match. Lady Frost uh, had her debut match. Uh, I shouldn't say debut match, but debut match after her signing with Impact Wrestling. Uh, so her first match uh, after officially becoming a member of the roster against Kimberly. And my goodness, L Lady Frost is fantastic. Lady Frost is fantastic. That finishing move uh, she hit on uh, Kimberly, that was, that was just pure fire. Pure fire. Great, great stuff. Uh, so this ultimate, I'm glad she's involved in the ultimate X match. And um, this should be a very good one. Uh, the only thing is, the only thing is, I would have added Masha Slavovich. I'm, I'm disappointed when they when they when they announced uh, there's going to be a Knockouts Ultimate X match first ever. I was thinking, oh, I hope Masha Slamovich is involved. I hope Masha Slamovich is in this match because she's tailor made for this type of match and uh, super super talented. And I'm a little disappointed that she's not part of the match. I mean, I would have. I would have put her in there instead of Rachel Ellering. You know, sorry for all the Rachel Ellering fans out there, but I would have put Masha Slamovich out there uh, in there instead of our Rachel Ellering. I think Slamovich would um, would give a much better showing than uh, than Ellering would um, in the, the Ultimate X match. You, you got to have Rosemary in there because she's you know this is a, a, a historic first match. So you got to throw Rosemary in there, of course. Jordan Grace, of course. Um, Tasha Steele should be fantastic. Chelsea Green, uh, Lady Frost is going to kill it. But I would have had Masha Slamovich. I would have had Masha Slamovich 100%. Um, but uh, hey, it's, it's not up to me, unfortunately. It's up to uh, Impact Wrestling. But it still should be a great match. I'm really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this one. Uh, speaking of Masha, Slam Masha Slamovich, um, you're kind of thinking, uh, I wonder how they're going to bring her in. Um, and I had an idea. I have an idea. I mean, uh, Lady Frost is a new signing. Masha Slamovich is a new signing. Uh, you probably going to try to figure out what you're going to do uh, or what, uh, what you're going to do with, with each of them. Here's my idea. Here's my idea. How about, you know, um, and of course, Lady Frost is already in this uh, Ultimate X match, but, um, uh, but uh, what if, what if you had like a, a best of seven series? between the two like or or two out of three two uh, best of best of five series between the two and the winner gets a shot at the uh, future shot at the knockouts championship you know two of the newer signings um masha slamovich lady frost uh, of the knockouts division uh try to prove themselves uh worthy of being an impact wrestling and having a best of five or best of seven uh maybe best of seven might be a little uh Maybe a little much. I mean, it's not Nikita Koloff and Magnum TA we're talking about here, uh, fighting for the U.S. title. Uh, but maybe best of five, best of five series, and the winner gets a shout out to Knockouts title. I think, and I think they will both, you know, both of them would have fantastic matches. It would be a fantastic series of matches, and it, and then instantly they 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 instantly come into Impact Wrestling and they're instantly in a program. Uh, Lady Frost, Masha Slamovich, instantly in a program with each other, and um, they're fighting to get a title. So even if it's not the knockout title, if it's the, the digital media championship against Jordan Grace, something like that, you know, try to add a little uh, prestige or a little excitement around the digital media championship. Um, have a uh, best of three between Slamovich and Lady Frost. I think it would be fantastic. I think it would be fantastic. I think it would be a, a great series of matches. Uh, but that's just my idea. That's just my idea. If you like the idea, let me know. You know, you comment on it, uh, of course, in the comment section here. Um, but uh, I think that'll be a, a, a splendid idea. Uh, <laughs> splendid. That'd be a fantastic idea, uh, having Slavovich and Frost um, battle it out to see who gets a shot. I think, you know, I said knockouts title. I, I, maybe digital media championship. Because uh, you need to create a little bit more of a buzz or a little more excitement around that title. Um and it, it can even be, uh, uh, they just uh, put it on YouTube for, for the insiders and put it on, um, um, put it on, um, 
Impact Plus, sorry, Impact Plus, uh, special uh, best of three. Actually, no, it should be on the regular show because that, that would be a great series of matches. That would be a great series of matches uh, if they um, they went ahead and did that. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what Slavovich is going to bring. I haven't seen her since uh, the match with uh, Diona Perrazzo, uh, but I'm sure she'll um, she'll be showing up uh, sooner or later. Excuse me, uh, got a little itch here. Okay, so <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was fighting that itch since I started the podcast. I couldn't uh, couldn't hold off any longer. I had to stick my hand, <laughs> stick my finger in there and give it a little scratch. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that would be a great series of matches between Lady Frost and Masha Slamovich. Uh, but they announced a number of um, matches for uh, Hard to Kill. So here's the updated card. As we know, for the Impact World Championship, it's Moose versus W. Morrissey versus Matt Cardona, which should be a great one. But no way Moose is going to lose that match. Knockouts championship on the line is Mickey James takes on Deanna Perrazzo, uh, which should be a great one. I'm fully expecting Perrazzo to retain, uh, not retain, regain her title in that one. We already spoke about the first ever uh, Knockouts Ultimate X match. Um, and we got Josh Alexander one on one with Jonah, which should be absolutely fantastic. So this is really shaping up uh, to be a spectacular card um, of professional wrestling. Uh, Josh Alexander and Jonah is going to be one hell of a, that's going to be a war. That's going to be an absolute war. Uh, that just probably could be the match of the night. Jonah against Josh Alexander. Um, personally, I would have liked to have seen Josh Alexander get the shot at the uh, at the title, at the world title, um, Impact Wrestling World Championship against Moose on this one. Moose against Josh Alexander. I personally would have had Jonah go after Eddie Edwards because uh, right now Eddie Edwards doesn't seem like he has every, anything to do. Josh Alexander was already in that um, storyline with Moose. Um I would have had Jonah go out to Eddie Edwards, um, Eddie Edwards and, and, and um, Impact Wrestling legend. Uh, Jonah going after him would have been would have been fantastic. And Jonah against Eddie Edwards would have been a terrific match as well. Uh, but I would have gone that route. I would have gone that route. Uh, but something is brewing. Something's brewing there. Uh, some, something's, well, Scott Demore seems to be holding uh, Josh Alexander back for some reason. I don't know if they're going to work that into a storyline or not, but it, it seems like um, – Scott Demore is coming out. He's holding him back. Um, he's not letting him get the title shot. Uh, and then he um, gets attacked by Jonah, and now he has to go through Jonah. So, and then Josh Alexander, and then, I'm sorry, not Josh Alexander. Scott Demore comes out, talks to him on, on yesterday's show. Uh, so, some, some storyline brewing there. Uh, Josh Alexander being held back by Scott Demore, I think. Um, or it could be a storyline. Scott Demore trying to uh, toughen up, I don't know, toughen up or or teach uh, Josh Alexander some control. Uh, th there's some storyline um, that's uh, going on there between, or or it could be um, could be happening soon between the two. Well, I think it's or maybe it's already started in the storyline, but let's see where it goes. Uh, but I personally would have had Moose um, versus Josh Alexander uh, for the Impact Wrestling World Title uh, on this one. I would have had Morrissey against Matt Cardona. Um, they could have had a number of contenders match or something. Uh, and I would have had um, Jonah taken on Eddie Edwards um, in um, at Hard to Kill as well. So that, that's what I would have done. That's what I would have done. Uh, speaking of uh, Diona Perrazzo, speaking of Diona Perrazzo, uh, she's a little disappointed that more women didn't get to go through the Forbidden Door. And um, I share her uh, feelings on that. Uh, she was interviewed by Fightful.com. Uh, she's quoted here saying, yeah, I was think I was a little disappointed uh, because for me, there's a ton of dream matches and people I haven't been in the ring right in the ring with for years or have been in the ring with prior but you know what i think impact was the hub of all the crossover and we got to do a lot of stuff with nwa obviously my match with melina was one of the headliners of empower uh, so as disappointing as it is i have tried to look at the positives now instead of harping on what could have been uh, let's look at what was um so she um she actually um they actually she actually wanted a match uh with um Britt Baker. Uh, it says it's been documented that many of the women want to compete for other promotions, including Britt Baker, who actually cornered Scott Demore and asked him uh, what, when she was going to be able to face Diona Perrazzo. Um, and of course, there was, um, it says there was ultimately not a lot of crossover between Impact and AEW's women. There was none. I don't think there was any crossover, and I, I think that's um, I think that's a bit of a travesty there because we could have had some some tremendous matches 
we could have had some tremendous matches. Uh, I would have loved to see Ty Conte showing up at Impact Wrestling and challenging Deanna Perrazzo uh, for the Knockouts title. Or I would have loved to see Deanna Perrazzo head to AEW, start taking women out, um, I, uh, saying that she's the best in the world because she is. She's one of the best wrestlers in the world today, in my opinion. And uh, I think that would have been that, that would have been uh, fantastic as well, but. Fortunately, uh, we didn't get it, uh, and um, the the forbidden door seems to be shut for now. But it doesn't mean it's not going to open again soon. Uh, it could open again uh, s sooner or later, you never know, or maybe never. Uh, but I think it will. I think we'll see more crossover between AEW and Impact Wrestling, and hopefully, the women will be involved um, this time around. Uh, but Diana Prado, I never would have had, you know. Deanna Prado dropped the title twice to Sue Young and to Mickey James. If I was running the show, I would never have had her drop the title. I would have had her hold that title for the entire run, for her entire run up until now. I would not have had her drop the title because uh, she is, she's the crown jewel right now, or one of the crown jewels of Impact Wrestling right now. She's one of the best wrestlers in the world today. Yeah, of course, that's my opinion, and I think a lot of people share that opinion. And uh, sh I would have kept the title on her, would never have had to drop the title. Uh, just think how dominant a champion she would have been or how dominant a, a talent she, she would have been if she never dropped that title, the knockout title. She held it throughout. If she defeated Sue Young and she defeated Mickey James uh, to hold on to the title, she's still the champion today. I, I, that's just, I think it would have been – I think she would have been – it would have been, it would, she would have been like the rock star of the professional wrestling world right now. You know, she would be just, you know, head and shoulders above everybody right now. And, or she could claim to, she would, she would have a legitimate claim to being the, the, the best women's wrestler in the world today and one of the, the best wrestlers overall in the world today, in my opinion. Uh, if they had, um, <clears throat> kept that title on her, I think she is anyway, but I, I kind of wish that, um, they just, they, they kept the title on her. And I'm uh, looking for my water, but I unfortunately did not bring water, <laughs> bring water with me. Uh, so, but I, I would have left the title on her. And, um, but uh, again, you know, that's just, that's just me talking. Um, and I'm just a fan and um, I'm not making the decisions, but I think I, I think it would have been a great run for her if they just kept that title on her. If she defeated opponent after opponent after opponent, because then you can work the storyline and who's going to defeat the Oda Perazzo, uh for the, um, for the impact wrestling uh, knockouts title. Uh, and um you know, challenges could light up and she just keep knocking them down. Uh, I think you could have had a great storyline there as well. But um, unfortunately, uh, she's going to re regain the title um, against Mickey James. No doubt in my mind, she'll get the title back at Hard to Kill. And hopefully she'll have a nice long run with it. Um, be her uh, third reign with the title. Uh, and hopefully she'll have a nice long run with it uh, as well. <clears throat> uh, now, Impact Wrestling taping is returning to Canada. Uh, it's not going to be a full show. It's going to be one match. Uh, I'm just going to pull it up here. Um, it was, uh, it's actually Destiny Wrestling. Destiny Wrestling having a huge show on um, Sunday, December 19th. Uh, it's called Zero Fear. And um, it's going to be an impact uh, match taping. It's going to be one match. Uh, but this is a big step, big step for Impact Wrestling returning to Canada. Uh, and hopefully uh, this is just uh, the start. And uh, the next step will be uh, that they'll have full shows again in Windsor, Ontario, where I live. Uh, hopefully. Um, and uh, in Toronto as well. Uh, so one match, Destiny Wrestling. Uh, it's going to be Chris Sabin. Excuse me, Chris Saban, one on one with Cody Diener. Uh, so that should be a great one. And it's going to be taped for Impact Wrestling. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that one. And um, again, I hope this is just the beginning. I hope this is the start. Um, that hope that this one taping leads to um, a full set of TV tapings back here in Canada. Uh, COVID, um, COVID is uh, starting to. Uh, um, Things need to start opening up again, in my opinion. Um, people are more, 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 more people are vaccinated. Uh, so I think it's, um, I think it's time for Impact Wrestling to come back to Canada, and uh, let's let's do a show in Windsor or let's do a show in Canada. I'm sorry, in uh, Toronto. Uh, but this is just the this is the hopefully um, the first step, the first step in Impact Wrestling coming back. Uh, so once again, December nineteenth, uh, Don Carlo Arena. 
uh, Mississauga, Destiny Wrestling, uh, Impact Wrestling, um, Chris Saban one on one with Cody Diener, and it will be taped uh, for a future Impact Wrestling show. Probably, I'm guessing it's going to be taped for a uh, for a BTI for before the Impact show. Uh, but nonetheless, um, first step in um, Impact Wrestling tapings coming back to Canada. Okay, and I'm going to leave it with this. I'm going to leave it with this. Um, we all know, unfortunately, Ring of Honor final battle will be this Sunday. I'm, I'm sorry, this Saturday will be tomorrow, um, December 11th. And uh, after that, um, we're not going to see Ring of Honor. They're going to try to come back in April of 2022 or, or some, some point in the first quarter. But I think the goal is uh, they're shooting for April of 2022. So they're going to go dark for a bit. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of uh, Ring of Honor free agents, uh, everyone basically being released from their contract. Uh, so ever since they made that announcement, Ring of Honor, we've seen Ring of Honor um, stars in NWA. We've seen Ring of Honor stars showing up at AEW. We've seen um, MLW announcing Ring of Honor stars uh, going to be on their show. What's Impact Wrestling waiting for? What are they waiting for? I mean, there's a lot of talent out there. Uh, Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor is, is, is available. They should, be, they should be doing whatever the hell they can to bring Shane Taylor in to Impact Wrestling. Shane Taylor Promotions, the, the entire Shane Taylor Pro, all every every member of Shane Taylor Promotions into Impact Wrestling. Um, it would be such a terrific faction. Imagine Shane Taylor Promotions against Violent by Design. That would be such a great feud. Such a great feud. What if, what if Shane Taylor Promotions shows up and they attack Eddie Edwards or they go after um, or they go after Chris Saban or they start picking people off one by one? Um, that would be fantastic. You know, and again, they might be they, they might be negotiating with Shane Taylor right now, uh, but there's a lot of talent out there and all these promotions, NWA, AEW, MLW, they're all taking advantage of, it, of this and they're bringing in Ring of Honor stars to, the, to their shows, to their pay-per-views. But Impact Wrestling's not. And, and I talked to BQ, my buddy at, uh, at Impact Lounge, and he says, oh, Impact Wrestling is always last. They're always last in, in doing things. And, and he's right. You know, they, they can't wait much longer because, you know, Jay Lethal signs with AEW. Okay, you understand that. Yeah, Josh Woods uh, showing up at AEW. Uh, Roxy is going to be showing up at MLW. Uh, NWA had um, uh, Mike Bennett's. Uh, and Matt Taven, Mike Bennett and Matt Taven defending the, the Ring of Honor tag team titles on their pay-per-view. What's Impact Wrestling waiting for? You know, there's a huge group of free agents out there that's available. You know, let's get some of these guys in. And, and you can say, well, there's their, their TV tapings, you know, so um, they have to wait till their, their, their TV tapings. No, the MLW, they're having a TV taping in uh, January, late January, and they've already announced that Rock C is going to be a part of those tapings. Uh, why can't Impact Wrestling say, oh, part of the next set of tapings, Shane Taylor, or oh, part of the next set of tapings, Flip Gordon uh, will be a part of the next set of tapings. Let's get something done. Let's 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 get something done here, Ring of Honor. There's a lot. Of, I'm sorry, uh, Impact Wrestling. Uh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of talent that's going to be available, and this is the opportunity. This is the perfect opportunity for Impact Wrestling uh, to bring in some really good talent and really get things exciting in Impact Wrestling. I mean, it's exciting now. We got Hard to Kill is going to be a killer pay per view, but it could be even more exciting now. Now, I I'm hoping you know I'm I'm gonna. I'm going to guess that we're going to see something at Hard to Kill. We're going to see some surprise at Hard to Kill. Somebody from Ring of Honor or or um, or, uh, or a former um, WWE star that was released uh, showing up at Hard to Kill. I mean, you, you can't not have somebody with so much talent, so much talent out there right now, so much available talent in Impact Wrestling. You, you got to bring somebody in. You got to do it. You got to bring in a group of guys now. And uh, this is the opportunity. This is your opportunity. I know Moose had, had uh, voiced his opinion on it. He wanted to bring in the Briscoes haven't signed with anybody. Now, they're teasing a few with FTR. Uh, but what if you bring them in uh, and the Briscoes feud with the Good Brothers over the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team titles? How awesome would that be? So let's get something going, Impact Wrestling. Let's get something going. Now is the time. Now is the opportunity. Now let's uh, let's let's go for it, man. Let's let's go for it. Let's bring some great talent in, and then and, and as great as Impact Wrestling is right now, let's get it even better. Let's make it even better, and 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 give the fans the impact, the loyal Impact Wrestling fans, 
something super exciting and in the and in return, you you could bring in some new fans as well. You could bring in some Ring of Honor fans as well. Uh, you could in, hopefully increase uh, viewership um, as well. So let's let's get something done. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, anything breaks, of course, I'll be back. Uh, but uh, until I'm back, I'm just going to say thank you very much for uh, watching me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. Until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.